guys, welcome back to Herb's class for five more minutes of math. I knew you'd be back for some more functions. So today in functions, we're talking specifically, oh yeah, the terrible twosome, domain and range. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it. We're going to make this real simple for you. But first, let's get a couple of definitions up here. Yeah, seems simple enough, right? The domain is a collection of all of your input values. Right? And usually those are going to be the X values that you're putting into an equation. It could be a different letter, but for our purposes, remember we're talking input values. So it's a collection of all of your input values. So if the domain is a collection of your input values, guess what the range is? Of course, range is a collection of all of your output values. And now those used to be Y's, maybe they are F of X's, but remember how those are interchangeable, right? Of course, everything is understood better with an example. So let's get one up here. Okay, good. So here I have a collection of points and I'm gonna find out the domain and the range for this relationship right here. This collection of points shows a relationship. So we're gonna talk about the domain and the range. So our, the domain remembers a collection of the inputs. In this case, are the X's my inputs? Yeah, exactly right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna write them in a list. Looks something like this. Yeah, just like that. I have a collection of my input X values. Now, depending on your teacher and how strict they are, they might want those in ascending order. So we can reorder those and put them in ascending order. Good, just like that. Now, for the range, I will do exactly the same thing, but for my Y values. Good, just like that. So notice the fancy brackets. That's how you group them all together. Also notice that four that showed up twice, only write it down once and I'll put them in ascending order. This is exactly how it's done. For a collection of points, the domain is a collection of the X values, the range, a collection of the Y values. Yeah, it might look like this though also. Yeah, just like that. Now this doesn't change anything. Remember, each one of these pairs is an ordered pair. I have an X and a Y. Here is written as F of X, but remember, they're interchangeable. So if I wanted to write down the domain, it would look like this. Just like that, in ascending order from smallest to biggest, in a row, fancy brackets, commas in between. Okay, and the range? Yep, exactly right, just like that. Yeah, let me show you one more. Ooh, you remember the mapping, right? Now, double arrows is not a function, but we can still write down the domain and the range, right? So the domain is, of course, a collection of the inputs, and on mappings, they're already in order for you. Yeah! Bang, range is just as simple. Good, 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 good. Domain is a collection of the inputs. Range is a collection of the outputs. Domain X, range Y. I'll show you domain and range on the graph next. Okay, I'll see you there.